Hello and welcome to the sixth video of Free Filament Maker Machine Series. This time around I will be soldering, assembling the PCB I have designed to get rid of this spaghetti mess you have seen on the previous videos. Couple of things before we start. If you intend to solder anything at home, be sure to have some sort of protection against toxic fumes. I will be having a mask and while it's not much, it should help at least a little. When it comes to tools you will need, I will show you that not much is really required. Soldering iron, preferably the one with sharp tip, but as you will see in this video, you can successfully weld SMD resistors even with transformer iron, that is for sure older than me and perhaps even older than you. Next thing that you will need is of course some tin, tweezers and collection of random objects that may help you to keep PCB in place. Obviously stuff like third hand, vice and other tools could be useful, but they aren't really needed. If you have all the tools and parts, you might want to start with SMD components. In this case we will only have a couple of SMD resistors of size 0805. Why I didn't use THT? Well, honestly, I dislike THT components and think that SMD is just easier as they don't fall out of the holes. And you can get a collection of SMD resistor really dirt cheap. At this point, make sure to have a schematic opened up or printed to check the component values as PCB usually comes with only the symbols printed on them. Flip the PCB to the back side and put tiny bit of tin only on one pad of each resistor. Grab the resistor with tweezers and put them on the top of the pad with the tin. Get your iron close so it can sink in the soldered pad. Now grab the tin from the spool and solder the other pad to the board. It will take a few attempts to get it right, but it's not really hard. Then repeat this process for every resistor you have. You will see that I have purposely left out couple of them simply because I will be only using one heater. There are three power MOSFET lanes in case someone want to power up a fan or attach another heater. When every resistor is in place, I once again heat up every pad just to make sure there aren't any cold joints. Next step would be to solder male pins on the LCD screen. After making sure it fits the spot, I grab one long pin header and crack it to fit the size of 16.
After that, I get the female pins on the main board so that I could replace them in case anything breaks. This isn't necessary. As you can simply put those male pins and solder them directly to the main board, however, getting them out will be a bit problematic. Now comes the time to weld the rest of the components, including deep switch, two transistors, pin header for thermistor, buttons, terminal connectors and precise potenti potentiometer. Always make sure twice before putting transistors that they are correctly oriented, preferably consulting their datasheet, otherwise they may get damaged pretty fast. Sometimes transformer iron starts to lose connection to their tip and in this case you simply need to unscrew the tip and use some knife or other sharp object to rough up the surface of both the tip and the iron itself. You will know that when it takes long time to heat up the tip. 
Other type of soldering irons, I forget how it's called, should not have this problem. Last step is to connect Arduino Nano, LCD and stepper driver to the main board. Make sure to use multimeter to check if all connections are good. Hope you enjoyed the video and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more crazy do-it-yourself projects related to 3D printing.